Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to do another tutorial to teach you how to grow your own sprouts at home and furthermore how to make your own sprouting jars for under $1.50 each. So first we're going to start off with what you need. You need some mason jars. I bought the uh, largest size which I believe are half gallon. Um, then some green needlepoint netting from the craft store and then whatever you're going to be sprouting. Um, I'm doing sunflower seeds and mung beans. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to trace around the inner round lid onto the green netting using a sharpie. You'll then cut the circles out. Place them on the inside rings of your lid from your jars. Just pop them right in. Once you have them in place, you're going to screw them back onto the top of the jar. And that's your sprouting jar. It's really as simple as that. Um, once you have everything ready to go, and it's time to add in what you're going to be making your sprouts out of. Again, I'm doing sunflower seeds and mung beans. So you put them in the jar according to um, the sprouting chart that I'm going to be posting. Cover them with water and let them soak. You'll then drain everything out um, after the allotted time, again, according to the sprouting jar. Then you'll just rinse your, uh, your beans and your seeds out uh, two or three times a day. Let it drain out and uh, in no time you will have fresh sprouts organically grown and cheaply grown at home. So a couple other tips when you're sprouting nuts and seeds at home. Uh, first, try to keep your jars out of direct sunlight. Uh, just keep them out on the counter. It's perfectly fine. You don't need to uh, get a lot of sun on them. Second, uh, when you do your rinse every day after your first soak and draining, uh, just make sure that you either store your uh, jars at an angle or upside down like in a bowl or something like that. You want to make sure that the excess water can drip out slowly as it needs to uh, keep those seeds moist but not soaking and definitely not sitting in water where they will get moldy. And lastly, once you have your sprouts, you'll just take them out of the jar um, and store them in the fridge just like you would any store-bought sprouts. Again, it's just that easy to grow sprouts at home for a fraction of the cost. Hope you've enjoyed my tutorial, and I will see everyone tomorrow.